Welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so. And together, we shall make our Biafran dream a reality. E the Fulani Nigerian Army Chief Lieutenant General Yahaya Farouk laments and wept. All Buhari's plan to wipe out Biafrans and rope IPOB for election crisis fails. Obasanjo, the former Nigerian president, orders Interpol to arrest the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud. According to report, fake Buhari's plan to rope IPOB for election crisis failed because IPOB is one million times wiser than all Fulani caliphate put together. IPOB knows what the Fulani Nigerian government was up to in this their fraudless election process called Nigerian elections. So IPOB allowed the Fulani fraudulent elections to happen undisrupted. And the whole world have now seen how fraudulent and violent Nigerian election is. The Fulani Nigerian Army Chief, Lieutenant General Yahya Farouk, was disappointed. And now the world leaders are now pointing accusing fingers at the compromised Fulani controlled Nigerian security agencies. As the main actors of the insecurity in Biafra land, especially in the Southeast region. Fake Buhari thought that the sit at home protests in Biafra land will hold so that they will hide under it to cover their massive election rigging. But now they have no cover. Nigerians especially the youth, are very angry. You know, no one will say that P2B lost the presidential election because of IPOB. But the only reason P2B may lose the election is because the Fulani controlled compromise INEC will rig him out. And that is their plan. And that is why they are releasing 2019 presidential election results, claiming it is 2023. And that is why when you say the APC supporters and Tunubu watchings, they will tell you, wait for INEC results. Because they know what is happening. They know what is happening. Labour Party chieftain, but Utomi was held hostage at the Lagos INEC Office Coalition Center. And the APC chieftains surrounded him with gunmen, asking Utomi to either relinquish the Labour Party's comprehensive victory in Lagos to APC or be killed. Imagine that. Imagine what they have turned the zoo into. And they want Biafrans to still remain in the zoo. Imagine that. Biafrans should remain grateful to IPOB. Election weakened the Fulani Nigerian terrorist government and their terrorist full soldiers in Biafra land. Among them, Igbo politicians who wanted to sacrifice their own people 
for their political ambition and pin it on IPOB. What a big shame to them. They were disappointed and disgraced. They were all using thugs. They are criminals. They were using them to steal ballot boxes, snatch ballot boxes, using the military. They were using all of them. Meanwhile, February deceived the whole world that he has provided enough security that anyone found snatching or stealing the ballot box will be killed. None of those happened. Instead, they allowed the compromised Nigerian army and police to help the criminals to snatch ballot boxes. That was what they did. Even the Naira redesign was a ploy to deceive the international community to think that Buare imposter was ready for a credible election in Nigeria. It wasn't, it wasn't that. It was only deceiving them. Making a lot of noise and uh, deceptions. You know, when IPOB told Nigerians that the Nigerian election is a full and fraudless election process and a scam, gullible Nigerians refused to listen. Now the full and control dynamic is about to steal their mandates. In fact, they have concluded plans to steal their mandates. And they have put the compromised Nigerian security agencies on standby to quell any protests, to shoot aside anyone protesting. The Fulani controlled INEC, told INEC polling agents at the polling units to lie to people, to Nigerians, about connection failure because they did not intend to use the Beavers report. Rather, they reported the 2019 results to Nigerians in order to rig the elections. February deceived everyone, claiming that the polling units were secured and that Nigerians to go about to vote for whoever is their choice. But that was a big lie. And that he will organize the free and fair elections, which now looks like a daylight robbery. It was a daylight robbery. Former Nigerian president, Olusha Gompa Senjo, had to storm INEC Collection Center at Abuja and the INEC chairman, a Fulani Janjaweed, a criminal, was shocked that Obasanjo showed up with the original results. INEC chairman has been reported to the International Criminal Court, the United Nations, and the Interpol, and he may soon be arrested. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video, and bye-bye for now.